Welcome back to Hit Points Gaming, another kids edition. Uh, today we are playing, do you know the name of the game? Robot Turtles. Robot Turtles, that's right, by Think Fun. Um, in the instructions it says it was the highest grossing Kickstarter thing ever. Um, and I'm going to find out why. Um, so this is again Robot Turtles. It introduces basic coding concepts to preschoolers. Uh, it's the most backed, oh, the most backed board game in Kickstarter history. Um, so what this is, is this is Turtles, four players, uh, preschools and up. Um, you're trying to move your turtle to get the gem in the center of the board. Um, everyone wins. This is not a competition. Uh, when someone gets their gem, then they can help or encourage someone else to get theirs. It's really about a cooperative <coughs> game of helping each other and having fun. That's really what it's based on. Um, it does have some... Just one moment, please. It does start with um, a basic introduction, and then there's a couple other things you can introduce um, to it. It does stick to the, the, basics, the basics of programming, um, which is kind of interesting, uh, and we'll show that what that is. So to play the game, you put your turtle in the color corresponding to them. So you're going to be red, and I'll be green. You do have a bug... Uh, thing. So if you happen to place a card, um, you can tap that under your turn. So there's cards you can play. Um, and there's turning left, turning right, and going straight. So to play a, play a left turn, you just literally turn your turtle. They don't move. Next player's turn, then back to you. You go forward. Forward, forward, oh, yeah. forward. Turn, forward, forward, and then you get your gem. Later on, it does introduce a couple other functions to the game. Uh, uh, more difficult tiles to navigate around um, that you can see. The game, again, there's no, like, campaign or anything. It's really play with children and adults. The adult would then set the board up, and the child has to figure out how to get there. Um, there is a little bit more strategy to the end. You can say you have to get to the gym in 12 turns. Obviously, you have to be able to get there, um, but the adult can figure out the best way to get there, and then say you have 12 cards to get there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to just play a few rounds of this, then we'll introduce some of the more advanced features. Yes. All right, so why don't you go ahead first. You're going to play one card, and you kind of kind of lay it out. You can lay them here, because what you're doing is you're actually performing a, your programming. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll put my cards here. I'm going to turn, so my turtle starts this way, so I'm going to turn left. <coughs> your turn again. Yep. So then I'm going to go straight. Your turn again. You gotta play a card. Now the instructions says have the parent or someone else move your turtle and make funny noises. Um, we kind of play it like this so that we can one expedite the gameplay and two uh, he likes to move his own pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same. Now what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna do. You're gonna turn left. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Well, it's just a turn. It doesn't actually move, right? Ah, Right, so then I'm gonna go straight again. You go ahead. Um, there's no backwards. There's no way I'm backwards. It's always moving forward or turning. Beep, boop, bop. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna turn beep, right. Boop, bop, boop, boop. So I'm gonna turn right. Uh, I think that's a bad move. So I'm gonna hit my bug button, and I could do that as many times as I want. It also says it's just about having fun. So I'm gonna do that card. I'm gonna play this one instead to move forward. Perfect. And then I would play a turn right and turn right. Okay, so that's the basic gameplay, okay? Why don't we Why go ahead? Why is it not working? Um, <coughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. There you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, why don't you take your cards back and put it back in your pile. Doopus. So now what we're going to do Doopus. now is introduce some of the other tiles. Uh, so there's a box. The boxes can be pushed. Um, shh. So boxes, yeah, or crates, boxes, they're, just, they're kind of the same. I know. They can be pushed. Um, next up are these walls. These walls cannot be pushed. They can, they, if you run into it, you just stay next to them. So we'll put some of these out as well. To kind of force our turtles to go a certain way. Okay. That's a chimney, by the way. Excuse. It's a chimney, by the way. Uh, it kind of looks like a turret to a um, 
castle. And then lastly, there are these ice walls. Okay? You can you have to shoot them with lasers so you can melt them. Then they become these. And then right. you can't do anything. Right, right, right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put and some ice walls out there. This laser right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. You shoot it and... You have a laser. I don't have a laser on mine. What do you have? I don't have anything. i got some empty spaces. Right. But having the ice tiles does introduce a new card, which is the laser function. Okay, so that's going to be now in your arsenal. Oh, We're not going to show it here, but another card is the uh, jump or the function card. Okay, so what you would do as the adult, you would say this card has the ability to like jump. Well, we'll what we'll do now, well, we could actually show it. Um, so what that card does is, I'll say by playing a function card, it allows you to move forward three. Okay, so you can build your own function. So every time you would play this card. You always move forward three. It's another way to uh, introduce turns in the game. So, hey, you only have 12 turns. By using functions, you can reduce the amount of function turns or, or cards used. So, I thought you could, like, jump over something. Then... No, no, these are not for jumping. They're kind of oh. they're kind of set out turns. Please, ready ready to play? Yeah, why are right, they so... called jump cards then? Uh, I, I, that's just so you can understand how they how they function. So, how do these exactly work? If you play a card, so the bug the bug card here, you can yeah. tap it. If you play a card you didn't want to play, like say, oh, I played that wrong. I put the wrong card down. You would tap that, and then you can undo your card. And you can yep. do that many times as you want. Like this? Yep, and then you would take that many cards back. So you would go back all the way to the beginning. What? Okay. All right, so how about you start? Yep. Um, I'm going. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put another ice one there for you, just so you have to do it. What are you doing? Turn. Okay, turn it. And I'm gonna go forward. And I'm oh gonna wait, no! Push. I think you can melt those and then break that. You can melt them, yes. And then you Your can turn. break that. Your turn. Your turn. Why don't we see what happens? So you're moving forward. Well, I. I. You only move forward. Remember, I think you, don't you turn. can like. Can't you like? It shows in the picture. It's melting it and it's breaking it. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see when we do it. Wow. So I'm going to turn. Now it's your turn. Mm. Oh, well, yeah. Remember that turns you oh. to the left. Yep. Good job. I just did that on purpose to, sh to show you like, oh, okay. what it would So now you're going to go forward? Like. Okay. Right. I'm going to go forward as well. Your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn... Turn to the right. That's good. This, yep. this way. Um, nope. I'm just pushing it. I'm going to go forward again. Your turn. I see. Do. Forward one. Yeah, get on my white chimneys. I'm going to turn to the right. Your turn. Now remember, you're going to be playing these cards kind of in order. <laughs> That's what they want you to do anyway. They want you to see the, the, the order in which you're playing. All right, so you turned. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to blast this ice. I'm going to use the laser beam. Now you just simply turn it over and it melts. Your turn. You're going to do the same? Mm, right. Okay. Nope, you don't go there just yet. You have to use another card to move forward and then you go on it. Okay. What would a bougie? And then you can like make a circle. Because if you get to the end table or something. You just keep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Bye bye. You're gonna, okay. Well, no, that stays there. You just go on top of it. Oh, bye bye. Yeah, you can. Turtles like water? <laughs> yes, they do. They right. live in water. That's why I know I want them because I'm walking. Oh, okay. That's good. I don't know yeah. about them on Trouble Girl. You're going to go, which way are you going now? It's your turn. Um, would it be that way though? Well, think about it. You're going to turn left, you're going to turn right. Wait. Think. Left. Okay, good job. Boof, do we do ba doof a doof? Doofy, ba doofy. Doofus. 
Come on, turn. There you go. Koopas. I'm gonna go forward. Koopy, Your turn. Okay, move your turtle. Don't forget to move your turtle. Just your turtle. I am, buddy. Okay, your turn now. All right, so you melted the ice. We had to take a little gap because the dog is barking. So you melted the ice. I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn to the right. Your turn. I'm pressing the bug. Okay, you're gonna go backwards. No. You're gonna undo a card. I mean. No. Okay. Am I shooting that or what? I think I have to move my cards. Oh yeah, yeah. That's okay. You're gonna go forward. Yes, because that's like the moving. I'm gonna go forward and I'm gonna be on my gym. All right, now it's your turn. What are you gonna do to finish up? I think I'm gonna do a hop. Wait. I'm we don't have. We, we're not playing with the the, the jumper function cards. Shoot. Um. Then I'm just gonna go forward. Then okay. I can go again. Yep. Cause I'm all done. Forward. Then I will go that way. Turn left. Good. Then I would go forward. And then boom, I am on my stinking jump. Bye bye. Awesome. Bye -bye. No, no, we went together. Ah! Boo! All right, so that's Robot Turtles. Um, again, you can introduce the function card. Right, you can do the function card, the jump card, to um, make it a little more difficult uh, for older players, or if you just wanted to get a little more out of this. Um, do you like this game? The only part I pretty much like about it is the turtles. Remember, talk up a little bit more. You like the turtles? Yes. And I like the laser cards. They look pretty cool, and I love how you can just look, and they dead. Okay. And they melt. It's cool. Okay. So, I we played this, so we've had this game for a while. <laughs> we've had this game for a while, and um, we played this when you were younger, too. Go ahead. You want to go? Just as long as you're quiet, okay? Um, and I think it's really easy. Um, I think it's really not, um, I, we played this when he was in preschool and I think it's a very easy game. Um, it's too easy. Uh, and I don't think it has a long life either. Um, whereas we played other games, even shoots and ladders, um, is for younger players, but I think you can play that for a while. It has more of a longer sh shelf life. This game here, even introducing functions, um, it doesn't it doesn't last long. It just doesn't have doesn't have that grasp there. Um, putting up many walls and trying to just take more turns, it really is just going. For, it's it's a maze. It's pretty much a maze. Um, and, and I just I get the idea behind it, trying to get you know kids to understand programming and, and, and functions and, and and all of that. I just don't think it works well for a game. Sander, I, I, I got it. Um, I don't think it works really well for a game. Uh, I think they could, I, I don't even know if they could have done this better. Um, the cards look great, the board is nice, the, the tiles that they have are nice, even these the turtles and, and the gems have like a nice holographic, uh, not holographic, but they have a foil to them. So they look a little more, they look cool. Um, but maybe introducing more tiles to this, more cards. If you're not gonna be here, I need you to be quiet. I don't recommend this game really to anybody. Yeah. And, and, and I, don't, I don't like saying that because it's just someone's work going out there. Um, if, I, if you could get it as a hand-me-down for a year or for a few months for your child, that's awesome. Um, but I would not go out and purchase it uh, unless it was a gift, maybe. Um, but I, I just don't think it, it has what it needs to be at that level to really stay in our in our collection for a while. Um, whereas other games, I, I think, do. Um, it's nice because it's a cooperative game, so the kids want to help each other. And But I think also you can get kind of stuck with some, some of the younger players would get stuck and the older players are going to tell them how to play. Um, so you have to be careful of that, too. Um, but it, but it's okay. Uh, the game itself looks great. Ideally, it sounds awesome. That's probably why it did so good on um, Kickstarter. 
Um, but, but yeah, that's it. So that's, thank you for joining us here in Hit Points Gaming. Uh, this is again, Robot Turtles by Think Fun. Um, uh, thanks for watching.